Hello my fellow gangsters. So this will be how to make suspension for a car. And first just like don't even do this part, but just just watch. So nor so don't do this part, but normally you would go like create a 3D object, cube, and then you'd be like right click that, my children, create empty. And so the cube you would give that a add component physics rigid body and then in the child that would be like the wheel you would be like oh man like put it where a wheel would be you'd go add component physics uh, wheel collider and wheel colliders have like all these settings and it's like the worst thing in the world and nobody knows how to set them up right but if the parent is the rigid body now it's got this like wheel thing and uh, yeah, don't do this part because it's just a waste of time and like they never work. But duplicate that. So then you would have like these wheels and you'd like make your car. Uh, what do I gotta do? I gotta make a giant 3D cube here so that we have some ground. Whoa. Okay. So normally you would like do this. And then it's gonna act like a complete piece of crap and like go flying into the sky because and then so then on the rigid body you would make it weigh like a thousand mass instead of one and then it would behave a little bit better but it's still gonna be kind of a piece of crap and it's like really hard to make a car but it's got like some suspension and then on each of those wheels you would like set all these things trying to make it behave properly but it will always behave like crap. And then you would apply, through script, you would apply torque to it, which would spin the, the wheels and like make it move and everything. But it'll just never work, and it's complete garbage. Don't even try. So I found this thing on the internet that somebody made. I will put a, there's a link below. Yeah, so this guy, Anthony Yakovlev, has this easy suspension wheel collider thing. You can click this link and just download it. There's this easy suspension. So download that. So you got this easy suspension. So extract all, like unzip that. And he has made a project. This is like assets and everything. So now open Unity and just open that project that he already started. So open, easy suspension, easy suspension. And yes, re-import everything. All right, so he's got a playground scene. So open that. And he's got like some test car here where, so it's a car with a bunch of wheels and he has the script on it. And this rear wheel drive script makes it so that when you press the arrow keys, it's applying torque to the wheels and you can like drive around and all these things. So let's just, let's create a folder and just call it, what is it, easy suspension. And let's just move all his stuff in there just to kind of organize this. And let's create a folder called scenes. And let's go file, save scene as whatever, scene zero 01 inside scenes. And let's delete this car root. So inside of his code, he has an editor folder, this boxy car wizard, and that has a menu item vehicles boxy car wizard. So to use his script that kind of generates a car for us, go to vehicles at the top, boxy car wizard. And so this thing is like your settings to make a car. The axle step is like how long it is. So if that was a bigger number, you got like, when you click generate, you got like a really long car. It's like a limo or something. And if, if it was like wide axle width, then it's like some weird fat shaped car. So for the car that we're gonna do, let's have the axle step 1.75 and the width 1.5 and just leave everything else and generate that. Let's delete any other cars. 
So we've got this like square shaped car and it's automatically got a bunch of wheels on it already set up and he has made it so that everything just already kind of works. So if you press play, you know, it has kind of like a nice suspension already. And then he has this easy suspension script with these sliders you can drag, so it's like making it the suspension tall or whatever. And that is going into every single one of these wheel colliders and making all these numbers change so that it doesn't break too badly. You can just kind of set it to something. So what I found I liked was natural frequency of seven. So it's like a little bit of like a, a little bit lifted, a little bit of suspension. And then on his rear wheel drive thing, that's what makes the arrow keys work. So you're like adding torque to it. I like to have the torque at like 900 here. And then it kind of handles nicely. So see if I double click that. It's got some stuff to drive over. And it's got like a lot of power in the rear wheels, which is kind of fun. So yeah, that's a lot better than trying to actually build this yourself. <laughs> and what it has in this cube, this box collider, that's kind of what the weight distribution is for the tires. So you always want to keep that. I'm going to stop. I'm going to put a link below for this other thing. My buddy Toye made a, a car. So I'm going to go Window Asset Store. And so search for Hibby Games and this Aaron's Assets. So this car was made by my buddy Toye. Toyadineren.com. Yo, Toye. And so download that, it's free. And I'll put a link below in case for some reason it like doesn't show up when you search for it. But so download this package and we'll use that for the art for a car. Close this tab. All right, so now we have this like Hibby Games folder, yo, Aaron's assets, and then prefabs. So let's take this toy a car version one, drag it into here. So now it's like inside of our, our car. I'm gonna move it down to like minus 0.9 so it kind of fits. There's some big wheels. <laughs> a minute. So on each one of these, if you select all of the wheels, you can hold shift and select the top one and then the bottom to select all of them. Uh, they have a radius that we can adjust. So I think like 0.35 is probably good. And then on our cube, we have to keep the box collider because that's the weight distribution and without it the tires are just gonna break so we just uncheck the mesh renderer so that we can't see it and back on if you select the car root on his rear wheel drive script there's a wheel shape so let's drag his the toy car tire onto that and so when we play the game that is gonna like paste the tires onto the wheels. So if I press play, we got like pretty sweet looking car. So the wheels move all nice. Looks all cool and everything. Bam. Off-road style, yo. It's a cool car. But, so one problem, if you look at the wheels on the left side, they're backwards, right? So if I look at this guy, it's like inside out kind of. So on his scale here, if that was like minus one, then it would look 
correct, right? So we need to change the left side wheels so that their scale x is minus 1 for it to look properly. But we can't change them because they don't exist until we press play, right? Because this rear wheel drive script, that's actually like placing them in. So we're going to have to like go into this rear wheel drive script and like make it our female dog. Make it do what we want. So double click that script. Alright, so if you look at this script that he has, it goes wheels equals get components and children wheel collider. So what that's doing is we're right here and we're going to look at all the children, which are these, and it's finding every single one that has a wheel collider. And it's like making a list of them. And then if we attach the wheel shape, then it's attaching that wheel shape thing. So right here it has ws equals game object dot instantiate wheel shape. It's taking that game object that we have of the art of the tire and it's instantiating it, so it's like pasting it in. And then it's setting its parent to the wheel transform. So the the wheels transform becomes the transform of that. So it's like putting it inside of it. So, so if we were to go in here, and it's cycling through each wheel, and we're just going to go like, so like print wheel dot name, then you'll see when you when you run the game, so that it's actually going through each one of these. So just wait for it to compile, and then press play, and the console window should have the name A01, A0R. A1L, whatever, so it's like going through each one of these game objects and it's pasting this art inside of it. So what we need to do is figure out which ones are on the left side. So if we look at the wheels, this one's X position is minus 0.75, then on the right it's plus 0.75, minus 75 plus, so instead of wheel.name you can go Wheel dot transform dot local position dot x. So then we can check this value. So after it compiles, press play. So it's minus seventy five or minus point seven five plus. So you can see it's like on the left side or the right side. And if you don't have this window, it's just window console. Or window, yeah, window console right here. If that window doesn't exist for you. Because it might not. Alright. So then we would just be like, alright, so if this thing is less than zero, then it must be a left side wheel. So if that ws dot transform dot local scale equals new vector three and that's an x y and z position so it would be ws dot transform dot local scale dot x and then comma same thing dot y and then comma same thing dot z except we want to flip the x so multiply that one by minus one f yeah so that is going to set so I'll just save that that is going to set this scale right here to x y so it's just going to be like whatever it already is multiplied by minus one, so it's going to make it negative, and then these ones won't change. So if it's on the left side, we're going to multiply its x scale by a negative number and flip it. So now, with our dope little car, if I can turn around, the wheels still look good facing the other side. Yeah. 
Bam. Take that wheel. Wait, that's the right side wheel. Left side wheel. Woo! On the wheel. It's a pretty cool suspension, yo. Yeah. It's a cool little car. So now the wheels look good. And I'm just going to throw a camera in here. So, assets, import package, cameras. If you don't have that, it means like when you install Unity, you have to check standard assets and like install those too. You can just go to Unity's website if you don't have it and find the standard assets and like install them. But you can import their standard assets, cameras. And then we got the standard assets folder here, cameras, prefabs, multi-purpose camera rig. So I'll drag that in. And then they have like a target. So I'm gonna put the car root on there and press play. And we should also delete the original camera. So let's delete that guy. And also I'm just gonna make the camera like minus one or something. Yeah, so minus one Y inside the, on the, that main camera, just so it's lowered down. You don't have to do that, but I like that. Yeah, now you got like cool little suspension for a little car. And you could always like go play with the wheel colliders and change all their little settings, but <laughs> for the most part, it's very difficult to actually do anything with them. And don't forget to save your scene. And I might as well create a folder called prefabs and just drag our car root into there so now we could whenever we want, just like in a new scene or whatever, we can drag another car in. So now they're both using the same controls. But anyway, now you can just drag a car in. Now we got like a cool little car with like suspension and stuff. That's awesome. And yeah, you could go back into the wheel colliders and just play with all their settings and try to make make it behave differently if you want. You would want to uh, uncheck this easy, easy suspension because that's going to keep changing the settings on the wheels if you do start changing them. But uh, yeah, good luck understanding this stuff. <laughs> that's why the easy suspension thing is awesome. And yeah, on the next tutorial, I'm going to do paint colors because I found like someone made a cool color picker tool. So I'll do that next. Peace out my fellow gangsters. Buy my game. Hibby cart, yo. Buy hibby cart. Hibby cart. Hibby cart. Hey, this is like an ASMR channel right now. Marijuana on the stock exchange. That stock symbols weed. That's my favorite stock. I'd like to give a shout out to some of my Patreon subscribers. Steven Subclef, Michael Washington, Creative Desires Limited, Alexio Rodriguez, Todd Algier, Shuriak Stefan, Brandon Resinos, The Elder Drake, Daniel Alexander. Thank you for supporting me on Patreon. If it wasn't for you, I would commit seppuku. Huh.
I don't get what I want, I get what I need Every single day I'm heading off to my dream And I get everything that I damn well please I don't give a damn if you all listening to me Cause I run it, I'm the only one that really want it I'm the only one that's really on it I'm just being honest, I'm just doing everything I promise Cause I want it bad enough that I'ma make it as an artist And I know I'm not the smartest and I know I'm not the largest But I promise you that I'ma be the one that worked the hardest Cause I promise you that I'm just getting started And I promise you that my skills are getting sharper So I'ma get charted, can't be guarded Nah, I'm the one to get retarded Get the party started, yeah, get the party started Yeah, so let me get up on it, yeah Yeah, 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 ye